Well, it's time now for today's health report. And joining us now is Africa 54 Health correspondent Lino Mudu with more news on the connection between climate change and health. Lino. As the United Nations Climate Summit continues in Paris, World Health Organization officials are calling for a strong agreement to curb global emissions. As VOA's Rosanne Skirbel tells us, the accord could help avert millions of deaths linked with pollution and disease in a warmer world. In Paris, negotiators are aiming for an accord that cuts global emissions to avoid the most dramatic impacts of climate change. World Health Organization senior scientist Darman Campbell Lendrum says what's good for the planet is good for public health. And the reason that we are so concerned about the effects of climate change uh, on health are that many of the largest disease problems that we face are highly sensitive uh, to climate conditions. Um, these, these include diseases such as malaria, such as undernutrition, uh, and such as uh, waterborne disease, diarrhea and other waterborne diseases. A warmer and wetter world threatens to make these problems worse. That's exactly what's happening with dengue fever, a mosquito-borne viral infection that's put almost half of the world's population at risk. Erwin Saucedo is a local health director in Santa Cruz, Bolivia. He says an extended rainy season in 2009 had workers scrambling to control the epidemic. We think the 30,000 reported cases could easily be double that, getting to more than 50,000 to 60,000 because of unreported cases where people have done self-treatment. Dengue fever remains a leading cause of hospitalization in Latin America and Asia. Rising temperatures also make air pollution worse, especially for people who suffer from asthma, heart or lung disease. If we continue to use highly polluting energy systems, we will uh, either maintain or, or, or increase the 7 million deaths uh, that, we, uh, that we suffer uh, every year from air pollution. Campbell Lendrum says clean air and water are basic human rights. He says a successful outcome in Paris would be an action-oriented agenda that both reduces climate changing emissions to protect health in the long run, but also achieves the health benefits of a greener, more equitable, sustainable economy. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.